As a tradition, I do have permission to throw a piece of cake at Grace's face. And when I throw the cake in Grace's face, maybe I can upload this to YouTube and it can go one of two ways. I could be very popular or I could be single again. <laughs> Grace, when we first met, I never imagined this day would come. But now that we are here, I could have imagined choosing anyone else but you to go through life's journey with. It all makes sense now why my dad kept asking me to back in his room every day. I don't know why, but he kept asking me day after day. <laughs> if you would like to know the story, and it's a long one, of how we met, find me in the back near the bar. You can, we can talk about it later. But I have to read my vows. I love your laugh, your smile, your caring nature, and strong desire to help others. I promise to support you, to honor you, and to love you unconditionally. Even when we may disagree on something, like whether we should unnecessarily decorate the pillows on the bed. I can't imagine where I would be without you, and I cannot wait to continue this crazy journey with you. By my side, I love you. Nathan, I take you to be my husband, my best friend, my faithful partner in life, and my one true love. On this special day, I vow to love you, respect you, support you, and accept you unconditionally. I will work with you, I will work together with you, to achieve our goals in life and promise to always be patient with you along the way. I promise to stay by your side in sickness and in health, in joy or in sorrow, and through all the good times and bad. I will love you, encourage you, inspi and inspire you. I will laugh with you in times of paradise and comfort you in times of sorrow. I will grow with you and always be open and regardless of the obstacles we might face together in life, I promise that you can count on me. So today, I give you my hand, my heart, my whole life, as long as we both shall live. We first met Grace about seven years ago when she was sent over by the agency to help me with my morning care. We were impressed by her love and caring nature and her prodigious strength because she could actually pick me up out of bed, which is not an easy thing to do. And uh, what I know is she likes to help. She can help anybody who needs help. Even if you don't like to steal, she's gonna go over there and you know, check it out for herself. I think Nathan is happy. Must be very, very, very lucky to have her. Now, let me tell you a few things about Nathan. He's a tech enthusiast. He loves learning the ins and outs of products and occasionally voids warranties on them. <laughs> At any one time, Nathan will have three smartphones, a few wearable devices like smartwatches, and the latest thing, a pair of smart glasses. I guess he's a pretty smart dude. <laughs> I've always admired my brother for his hard work and perseverance. Grace shares these same qualities, which is why they make such a great couple. Just make sure Gracie brings only one smartphone to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> 
You want to enjoy your vacation. Let's toast to Nathan and Grace. They make a lovely couple, and may they be blessed with health and happiness and live happily hereafter. Caitlin, come on. All right, you ready? Go, Kuba! Who mentioned marriage first? Come on, you can do it. Come on, Grace. Come on, Grace. Who made the first move? Who said I love you first?